today I'm here with Jess. Hi guys! And Jess also has a YouTube channel which is called Study With Jess. I'll have it listed in the description. And it's all about study tips. Study tips, organization, everything to get you ready for a new school year. Yeah, which is really, really awesome. I love it. I love all the things that you do. Thanks. So we'll have Jess's channel listed in the description. And over on Jess's channel, we are doing a back to school themed video as well, which is back to school essentials. So making sure you've got everything you need in your backpack so that you're ready for whatever life throws at you. So definitely check that out. We'll link that in the description box as well. Yes, very important things. You've got to have these essentials on you. And yes. today on my channel, which I'm so excited about, we have done a DIY stationary video video for you. So we have gone with a theme of matte black and rose gold themed. I've got pencils, books. It's so pretty. Oh, this is so much fun to do. Like, I know. It was awesome. So if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and let's get started. So I'm going to start by using some masking tape to tape up any parts that I don't want to get paint on. So for the pencils, I'm going to cover the metal and the rubber part on the end. And these are just some wooden pencils that I got in a packet for about a dollar from Target. So they were super affordable. Then it's time to start painting. We're using matte black acrylic water-based paint that I got from Spotlight and just placing it onto a dish. And then we're gonna go ahead and get painting. So Jess is starting on the exercise books. These are just two basic 64 page exercise books and she's using a little foam roller that I also got from Spotlight to paint both the front and the back. We've placed some paper in between the pages so you're not gonna get any black paint onto the pages on the inside. And Jess is doing a really good coat and she actually did two coats to finish this off. And it dries so quickly and you can also use a hairdryer to dry it if you like as well. So I'm over painting all of the pencils. I'm just using a little paintbrush for this and I'm holding where the masking tape is so that I'm not going to get paint all over my hands. Although let's be honest, I still got paint all over my hands and all over the desk. Make sure you do put a sheet down on the table though so you're not going to get paint onto any furniture. And I just went ahead and painted every single one of the pencils. <laughs> And the last little thing we had to paint was a little plastic pencil sharpener that I got from Officeworks and I just did two coats to both the top and bottom and I did use the hairdryer to dry them as well and that's all that was painted. It was the books, the pencils and the little pencil sharpener. Then it comes to the really exciting part, which is decorating everything with rose gold washi tape. Oh my gosh, I found this washi tape in a pack of three. There was two other designs in the pack at Harvey Norman and they actually scanned up for like a dollar a packet. So I bought the rest of the store out because how could you not when they were a dollar each? Anyway, Jess is over designing uh, the front of the books in which she did a big cross across the front of one and then a really big triangle across the other. She just went ahead and trimmed up all the edges to neaten off the tape. And she also ran a strip down the spine of the book as well and I think they look amazing. It's such a glam, fabulous way to kind of spice up your exercise books. <laughs> Then I was working on covering the pencils with some washi tape. So I'm covering the little metal part up the top of the pencil. The washi tape is a little bit thicker than the metal. So rather than having the washi tape cover part of the eraser, I made sure that the edge of the washi tape was in line with the metal and the eraser. And then the excess washi was onto the wood part of the pencil and I just cannot get over how these turned out. These are the most glam pencils I think I've ever seen. And it's just the easiest DIY. I also went ahead and put a strip of washi tape around the center of the pencil sharpener. And then I popped the lid back on and it looked so cool to have this like matte black pencil sharpener with just this thick stripe of cool metal around the middle. And then of course I went ahead and tested it out and sharpened a pencil and it worked perfectly, which is so, so awesome. So I just, I love how this turned out. I think it's so cool. So the next stationary item that I am glamming up with some washi tape is this black sticky tape dispenser. I decided to get a black one so I didn't have to paint it or do any like prior DIY work to it. It was just so easy to wrap some washi tape around it and then it tied it in with the whole theme of all the rest of the stationery. <laughs> And then for the last DIY today, Jess is glamming up some erasers. So what she has done is unwrapped these 
packet of erasers. They were only $1 from Target as well for four erasers, which is so affordable. She's unwrapped it and then used it as a bit of a template to cut out a new wrap around for the eraser out of some black cardboard. I would recommend paper rather than cardboard because this was quite difficult to get to stick together, but she did go ahead and use some glue to glue the cardboard around the eraser and even just black looks amazing. And then she went ahead and cut out multiple of these to finish off the rest of the erasers. And then it was time for the really fun washi tape. And we've gone with the design of just a little bit of washi tape around the bottom of the eraser, but there's also a little strip of black around the bottom. So it's not quite on the very, very edge of the cardboard. And I think this looks so cool. And it's just such an easy way to glam up all of your stationery. So that is all the DIY rose gold and matte black stationery. I am so in love. I cannot get over it. Leave a comment down below and let me know which one of these stationery items is your favorite. So that's my DIY school supplies and stationery video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming along and helping me out with all these DIYs. And uh, don't forget to check out Jess's channel, which is listed in the description. Yes. And up the top here, you can check out my last video, which is a back to school giveaway. Also, Jess is doing some giveaways, so make Yay! sure you go over there and check that out. And down the bottom, I'll have a link to the video we did on Jess's channel. So make sure you check that out, and we will see you over on Jess's channel. <laughs> Bye. Bye.